Improving communication in the deaf community. That is what a community event hosted by American Sign Language Interpreting Services is trying to achieve. Our Sarah Madison explains how the group is focusing on using technology to bridge the gap in communication. We communicate all day, every day, but sometimes communication is a struggle for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Losing your mobility or your sight will disconnect you from things. Losing your hearing disconnects you from people, so communication is really important. Thanks to a state-funded grant from the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services, ASLIS is researching how to improve communication for the deaf community. The Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services say the deaf community in Bemidji is small but growing. That's why the American Sign Language Interpreting Services is here hosting the event in Bemidji. This is the first of eight stops ASLIS will be making in Greater Minnesota. At the event, organizers introduced video remote interpreting technology. And basically, VRI services are um, you get an interpreter on a screen instead of in person. And that interpreter on screen does the same exact process, um, translate from sign to voice and also voice to sign. Having an interpreter on site is ideal, but majority of them live in the metropolitan area. ASLIS is trying to get feedback and figure out how VRIs can be the next best thing. Last year, Bemidji State <laughs> University installed VRIs. So we found out uh, there's some pros and cons as far as having a live interpreter on site. That's what this grant funded project is about, is how can we enhance services, either uh, get people more acclimated and comfortable with the video remote in process, or hopefully more interpreters are interested in providing services in this area and other parts of outstate Minnesota. ASLIS hopes the discussions from deaf people, interpreters, and service providers will give them an idea how to enhance services for the deaf community, especially in rural areas. Sarah Madison, Lakeland News. And here on Lakeland News, we provide closed captioning each night during our newscast. We'd like to hear from you if our captioning is effective and accurate. Just go to www.lptv.org to input your feedback. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.